Music can do so much, inspire us, educate us, and the Las Vegas Philharmonic is leading the cause. Here to tell us more is Tyler Corder from the Finley Automotive Group and Lacey Husha from the Las Vegas Philharmonic. Welcome, you two. Thanks. It's great Thank to you. be here. Tyler, you guys are involved in so many organizations, so many passions. Why is this one important to you? Well, people probably don't realize that, uh, that we like to support arts and culture a little bit, and the Philharmonic certainly fits that bill. And personally, I like I, I can't carry a tune, but I love music. You love music. Yeah. Do you play an instrument? Uh, when I was really little, I played the clarinet, and it was horrible. So, uh, <laughs> but we, uh, uh, one of the things that uh, I've learned is that there's not a lot of music education in the schools anymore. The budget cuts, they've eliminated uh, a lot of the music uh, programs. And the Las Vegas Philharmonic has some music programs for, for children. And that's why we like to support the Philharmonic. Wanted to bring Lacey on today, talk a little bit about some of the things they're doing over there. Lacey, tell us more about what you guys do. Sure. So uh, we have a season full of concerts, mm -hmm. of classical concerts and pops concerts at Reynolds Hall. And then we have a great group of education and community engagement programs. Our, um, we've got, we bus kids into Reynolds Hall for concerts. We bring in about 20,000 kids a year. Uh, we have a music band program that goes out into the schools and into community centers and festivals and activities. And then we have a concerto competition for young musicians to participate in as well. And you have some great holiday shows coming we, up. What do we have? We do. We have three fantastic opportunities for holiday shows. Uh, Friday night, December 6th, is the uh, Baroque holiday show. So mm -hmm. Handel's Messiah, a, a a favorite, a staple of the holiday season, as well as some other Baroque Christmas concertos. And then on Saturday the 7th, we have two classic holiday shows with some of your favorite carols, music from the Nutcracker, all sorts of things that you will just love and make you think of the holiday season. Oh, I love it. So Tyler, you're in the automotive world, right? How is the music world connected to the automotive world? Well, one of the ways is that most people, when they're listening to music, oftentimes it's in their car. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will actually buy a car based on the music system. Uh, you might not know that, but I, that's, yeah. that's what people, one of the first things people want to do when they're in looking and test driving cars, listen to the sound system. And they crank it up, they want to make, it, make sure it sounds just that's right. That's right, that's right. So there is a connection with music the and cars. The big connection too. Yeah. So, so Lacey, talk more about the educational programs that you guys offer. Sure. So, well, connecting back to the cars, our music fan, a literal car that does drive uh, into school. So we actually take instruments. There's three different modules. There's a module that teaches kids string instruments, violins, violas, cellos, uh, a module that teaches wind instruments, and then a module of world music with African drumming, a little bit of Central American, some uh, Asian gongs, and all sorts of fun things that they can touch, feel, and connect with so they get really connected to the music itself. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, and then I know there's, there's famous musicians that work with you guys recently. Carlos Santana did some stuff with you guys. What's that like when an icon like Carlos Santana gets involved? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Not only does it increase the visibility, but it's also really fun for, for me, for uh, our music director, yes. for our musicians. And it was funny with Carlos in particular, we thought, gosh, all these kids in this drum circle, do they know who he is? Uh -huh. <laughs> and did like, they? I don't know. I'm not so sure, but all the parents and the chaperones. Yeah, they're geeking out, that's right. Like, that's so, awesome. Yeah, Thank you so much for joining us. Let's not forget, John Barr, too, was in a rock band he in the was, 80s. He was. He That's claims the, he was. Yeah. I've never heard him play, but yeah. He, he claims does. he does. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. For a complete list of the Las Vegas Philharmonic performances, go to their website, which is LVPhil. Dot org. And we'd like to thank the Finley Automotive Group for being one of our community pride partners. Kevin?